These are the stories behind the stories that dominated the past year. An interactive exhibition to explore in more detail how these images made it onto your television. An explanation of the technology which meant news could be broadcast as it was still unfolding, with contributions from those who are usually behind the camera. To work while we are moving and to record history live, I was amazed. The tension was just unbelievable. Everybody knew what was going to happen. The expectation that news will be on air as it happens is a far cry from the experience of TV correspondents 40 years ago, who could take days to get reports broadcast. Expose the film, do the interviews, put the film in the can, and put it on a plane back to London. Where it, and because it was film, it had to be processed. And then when it had been processed, it had to be, to be edited. So same day reporting in those days was more or less impossible. While TV may be the medium of powerful images, newspaper reporters argue that what happens away from the cameras shouldn't be lost. We saw Tahrir Square in Egypt. We saw the spontaneous uprising of youth. But what about the people who are voting, over 60% we understand, for quite hardline Islamic candidates and parties? The exhibition at Somerset House in central London is open to the public from today. This is something that has been on their screens for the last year. I think to have the opportunity to come and explore it in depth, using, interestingly enough, new technology. You know, we've got all the apps here, we've got... Um, the iPads that allow you to go into the subject in a deeper level. As well as the uprisings in Egypt, Libya and Syria, there's a look back at the riots in England. A lot of news footage these days has been captured on smartphones and smartphones are bringing the images in this exhibit alive again. If I hold the camera up to the image, it will immediately start playing the video report from which that image was taken. Oh, this is Lavender Hill. And with one of these, everyone can be a frontline cameraman and reporter. Ian Woods, Sky News.